I don't think that people realize how big you are until they see you like live at a WWE event. Yes. I'm curious, at what age did you become six feet tall? I think I was 11 years old. <laughs> I think I was 11 that is not old. fair, by the way. I'm sorry, man. You know, I, you know, I don't make the rules. I just follow, I just follow them. So whatever you was giving to me, I just take it around with it. So I was, I'll say about, about 11. Wow. Okay. And then like, at what point are you seven feet tall? Um, so at 11 years old, I was about six feet. And then I think by the time I was 13, I was, so I went in like two, in like a two year span, I went through a uh, seven inches, seven inch growth spurt. So by the time I was 13, I was six, seven. And that's when I started playing basketball. And then by the time I was 15, I was like six, 11, seven foot. Wow. Now is the same thing that you had is that the same thing that andre had the growth on your so, gland? so yes similar but different mine okay. is different because those guys they had they just had a medley, right which is the which is the tumor which is the tumor on your pituitary gland hmm. i i have that but also have gigantism right which is i had and also something else called partial pushing disease and from all they said it was i was the first case i'd ever seen that had those three diseases together because they're, they're, they're pretty much all diseases that, that make you large. And yeah. I kind of have like all the, you know, I'm like a, uh, like a rich spot, you know, I had all, I had all the fixings and it wasn't all when they found it. I had all like, uh, I've been studied by this, uh, a medical journal about my condition to help all the individuals, the kids that have a similar, a similar case like I do, you know, I have had the opportunity, you know, to, for, you know, residents to talk to me and ask about my experience. You know what it's like to have all the disease because it's rare that you find someone who has all the like I do. So yes, but this isn't just like something that makes you tall. Like this is something that, if not treated, I mean, you oh, end up it's, it, 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 it's dying, it's very right? fatal. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So for me, it's just like a thing where like I have to monitor my. They call it it's called the IGF one, which is your growth hormones. Yeah. So I have to ask for it for mine pretty much every three to four months. And I'm pretty much on the medication every day to help stop my body from using the hormones. If not, and if I don't do that, I keep on growing, which I don't want to do anymore. I'm, I'm okay, I'm satisfied at what I have. <laughs> you know, so do you, do you have to duck to walk into uh, like every room now? Pretty much every, every room, every it's it, and it's become even when the doors are about like ten foot tall, it's just still a natural reaction to me where I just have to do it just in case. You know, I don't want to like, you know what? I'm fine and I go in there, keep my head in. It just happened a couple of times, but I always try to make sure I duck. It's just become a natural instinct now. Okay, how about sitting on an airplane? What does that look like? There's a video that MVP posted, I think, last year of what it was like getting out of my seat, going to the bathroom, using the bathroom, and coming back. And it's, it's like uh, being in the hut. For lack of better terms, you know, because you know the, those those planes are designed for a human being like me. So that's how to you know make bests. <laughs> but you know, I always had to you know I figure you know my life has been a you know where I have to figure out okay how do I maneuver into small and tight spaces that aren't necessarily designed for me. 